kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part 25 of my video series on real-time family GPS tracker using Firebase. So, guys. Uh, now in this video first of all i need to uh, create uh, i need to solve a mistake which i have created in our project so first of all uh, here in the in the user's profile or i mean the, the user fields we need to add another field with the name of, of user id all right so we need that user id so we need to add that so for that first of all let's go down to your create user class and in here you need to add another okay so here in last we can add public string user id and here we need to add string user id and in here we can say this dot, this dot user id equals to user id all right guys so now what we have to do okay so let's go down to our in code activity okay so here there is saying that there is an error so in the last last part we need to uh, we need to send user dot get user id all right so in this way we are sending the current user a uh, unique id okay and so so whenever uh, a new account here will be created okay so i will delete this these uh, values all right and whenever the new profile is created there will be another field with the name of user id all right so then I will uh, run the application so before that I will delete that so you have to remove all the values here okay and also in our authentication part all right as well as the firebase storage fields okay so now what we, we need to do here let's okay after that let's continue our uh, join circle activity here okay so now we uh, have the uh, user ID the user object here which the uh, user A in with the user A uh, I mean uh, type the circle code all right so now what we are going to do is we are we need the join circle uh, user ID all right so first of all let's create here join user id okay that uh, user id which we want to join the the current user so for that we can say join user id equals to create user dot user id all right and after that what we need to do is we need to now add the I mean the we need to add the circle member here okay the circle member uh, node so for that what we can do okay so here we can have and say circle reference okay so here that create another database reference circle reference and show okay so i will do that later so in our circle reference we need to first of all initialize that circle reference equals to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference dot child user uh, join user and user id okay so users dot child join user id dot child and in here we can see circle members all right so now, now we need to uh, create another class with the name of uh, circle join 
all right so let me show you the circle okay this is the class so we can copy that and paste it here okay so you need to create a class okay then you need to set the circle member id string here okay and this is the default uh, i mean this is the constructor here it's a simple class okay so after that what you need to do here uh, let's create this circle join join this new circle join and in here first of all you need to write your current user id all right and you need another circle join so circle join and in here you need to write join user id all right so first of all you need to write uh, circle reference dot child user dot get user id dot set value and in here you need to write the circle join dot add on complete listener view on complete listener and in here we need to check if task is is successful all right so we can say toss dot make text get application context uh user join circle successfully all right guys so our code is based, is basically completed okay if you have any question you can comment down and let's go down to our layout and the submit part let's create background primary text color and on click method submit button click all right guys so in my next video i will show you the output of our app so far okay so if you like the video please like share and subscribe